Assalamu alaikum, hello everyone, and welcome back to another very exciting uh, tutorial. Moving on, we are creating. Uh, I don't even. Oh, okay, we are doing the the starting room, the the room home. So for that, I'm going to duplicate this and just call it room home. Great. In the views, there's nothing. The backgrounds, well, there is a background for this. I created that. I think I did not load it. Oh, I did. So it's this new background. We don't have this object inside it. And we will move this here. Great. Now we are going to create a new group and call it home. Good. And I'm going to create an object. Now this object will be doing everything, like creating all the buttons, basically managing everything. And actually it will, it will be handling or showing the title of the game, so I'll just call it title, object title. Now we don't have the title loaded here, so I'm going to go, oh actually I did load some buttons, some new buttons. They are not really important. It's just the play store and exit. And we have some buttons here. Well, these are not the buttons, but these are the buttons. Great. Okay, so we have a mute, no mute, a achievement, leaderboard, and share. These are the buttons. Great. And other than that, let's go and load the title. So we have the title. I'm just going to center that and call it title. It's just the title of the game, actually. In here, I'll just give it the, the sprite. And I'll create another object and call it object play. It will not have only the play button, it will have all the buttons, but I will call it object play because it starts with the play button. Great. And let me do this very quick. We'll have image speed equals to zero, and that's it for now. Then we will duplicate that and call this object C buttons or settings and the same thing will be here uh, except for the sprite okay. obviously now we are going to create all these buttons and we are going to, to have the title placed in a specific position so that would be okay I'm gonna do this very quick I already wasted three minutes well, uh, we just position the title X position on 270 and Y 200. This I figured out by just placing it inside the game. Nothing important. And we are creating three buttons, three pl object play buttons in different Y positions. So they will be in the middle of the room. Then we have at the bottom four settings buttons and they will be showing the sound and achievement and leaderboard and share great now you might be wondering uh, why are we creating just one object three times and the other one four times w what is this well there is a very cool way to handle these things without assigning them to a variable or anything like that now these these ways are very old-fashioned. There are better ways to do these things. Other than this, actually, there is one thing else I'm going to create here, and it's a global variable, and it's global variable SFX for sound effects. And I don't know. Let's have it. Okay, SFX equals true. Later we will change this for sure. Now, in the object play, 
also so we won't waste a lot of time I'll just type this real quick so the deal is we assign the numbers of the uh, instances of object player in the room to a variable which we'll call it i for instance so i equals instance number object play so once the first one is created it will calculate and see that there is just one object play so i equals one then another one will be created and that one will be counting how many objects are there in the room and it will see two objects and it will assign i to two and so on so you see this is a very very smart way to handle these kind of things then we assign the image index to i minus one now why minus one because first once we create i it equals to one and not to zero and in the image indexes we don't have image index one we start with image index zero great so minus one then we have a mouse left press the release this is up to you I'm gonna use released and we will have a code and in the code I'm going to use a switch statement let me do this very quick okay so we do a switch I and we have three cases in case it's one and two and three so I just told you that i is never zero because it starts with one if it's one then go to room levels which is the levels it's basically the play button then we have the store button and it's number two we don't have a room store if you want to create one feel free to do that and the third one is the exit so we ask to end the game there is actually a better way like not ending it directly but we'll just go with that next we will go to the settings now the, here things get cooler if I open the sprites you'll see that we have multiple sprites and actually I'm gonna use just the same method in the uh, in the object play button to assign the image index to to the to these uh, guys now you, you might uh, see this tricky way I started the the image index one to be the true for there is a sound and it's not mute and it's very important to have a mute as image index zero because we start with number one I just I said this ten times okay so we will we'll just do the same thing as in the object play button we assign the number of instances to i then image index equals i not i minus one because we start with this again I said this for the eleventh time next is the cool thing here I'm gonna use uh, I'll do this uh, cool animation that I use in the objects buttons which is basically start, uh, sliding upwards and that's exactly how I created the buttons here if you see I created them off the room they are outside the room and I want them to slide in but you might notice that they have a different offset like 20 uh, pixels the difference between each one and that's because I want them to slide in uh, with a different offset of time not just the position and that will do it you will see how tricky this this way is actually the thing is I will just use an alarm to stop the buttons from climbing now before that we use a vertical speed so vertical speed equals um, minus 10 great now alarm 0 equals to I no not I 18 plus now this 18 is because I want to move them to uh, I place them 200 pixels below the, the position that I want so we use 20 uh, 20 frames 20 times 10 is 200 you might be saying but here it's 18 well let me just continue so plus 
i times 2. Now what is this? It's basically just adding two frames, okay, to uh, to each uh, instance. Now we place the instances. Uh, where did it go? Here. The difference between each instance is two hundred uh, twenty pixels. So it's two frames because the speed is ten. Two frames is the distance. Here. <coughs> I'm using 18 plus i. Now, because we start with number 1, I had to place here 18. If we started with 0, it would have been 20 plus i times 2. And it would just increment. You understand? Great. If we add the alarm, and we just state that vertical speed equals 0, that's it. Then we have the mouse. So I'll use mouse left pressed instead. And in here, actually, we use a switch statement. And we will switch the i. And it, if it equals to 1, and again, we start with number 1, not 0, then we move on. Now you, might, you see that I used a very cool and tricky way also to, for the sounds. Now the first one is the sound, obviously. So we start, the image index starts with number one, so it's not zero. But when we press image index equals to not image index. So basically what does it mean not image index? This is actually a very cool way in Game Maker. I think it's everywhere. If the if the image index is one this means that it's true also. Now this is a, a boolean. I don't really know if this really works in Game Maker this way, but it's like this. Uh, if we say if it's one, which is true, we say it's equals to not true. So basically, it turns back to zero. Okay, which is false. That works. You just need to note that this is works. What I'm saying might sound as like non nonsense. Now let's move on. We have the other buttons, but I don't have any plans for them right now. We might have these in the next tutorial because we are already wasted 13 minutes. Okay. So if we create the game. Everything should be working. Now if we go to the home, I will just place the title anywhere, it doesn't matter, it will place itself itself back to the position we wanted. So great. Now you see they are just going in a crazy way up there. Oh I just I just created an alarm. God Please don't tell me that I did everything here. God. Okay, I screwed up. If you come to the object settings, we need to add the alarm here. Okay, and this too. In mouse pressed. It is the code, and this one is too. Let's move on. Why you guys didn't tell me that I'm doing the wrong thing? Good. So you see, everything is perfectly placed in a position that we want to. And if I press on this sound, you see, uh, this is amazing. It's turning on and off. Wow, that's cool. Now. The other thing, if I press on exit, it will exit, and if I press on play, it will play, and let's exit now. If we come to the settings in the left pressed here, we want to state that SFX equals not SFX. So basically, we are turning it to, to false. And we are going to load sound effects. Okay, we will add the sounds. This is getting long. So we have the sounds. I have a die sound. 
I'm going to call it s die. And then that one star. Let me just load these guys and we'll come back. Okay, we are here. We have the sounds, and this is the last one. Now, if I come to the game itself, to the object ball here, I left pressed will play the sound, so if everything is great. Here we'll say if SFX, then let's run the audio. So, well, it will be just audio play sound. Okay. And we give it the sound we want. It's sound tap. Priority is one. I don't really understand this priority thing, and it's not looping. Great. Now this code is the most useful code for audio. We copy that. We add it to the fit and uh, not finish to the enemy. So if we collide with an enemy, we want to make a sound. So if sound effect is true. Let's create the sound die. Great. And if we collide with the star, also we have a sound for that. So it's star. Great. And we have. Okay, we have a sound effect for the winning, I forgot. And it's colliding with the finish line. So let's have it before everything. And it's win. Great. And if we come, oh, we already did that. Great, so if I play this, everything should be working. Okay, we have, oh, we don't have a background sound. Well, that's up to you if you want to do that. It's not really important. So we come here. Oh, we don't have a back button here. We should do that too. I'll do that in the next one. Let's play the first one. If I press, I expect everything to work. Oh, we have a sound. And okay, we die. Let's retry. Let's take a star and win, and allegedly everything should, should. Great, everything works perfectly. Now, what do we need? We don't need anything, everything else will be the next episode, so you should be wait. Yes, that's how things work here. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial I hope it was not boring and uh, thank you for watching I hope you learned something today and I'm quite sure that you did please like if you liked the video please subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet and you guys have a great day